hi uh, uh, this topic we will be discussing about a weight type engine as you can see over on the screen uh, this uh, cylinders are placed in a v shape you can see the pistons and the v shape created by the connecting rod also over here so this is the crank uh, shaft and this is a crank case uh, uh, in these two cylinders are placed uh, with their uh, center line at some angle uh, to each other as you can see uh, generally this angle is kept uh, like 60 degree uh, but in some instances uh, angles become like 40 to 90 degree uh, are also used uh, its main advantage is that it can uh, be made more compact uh, in the construction Mm, the short crankshafts are uh, used which also means uh, more rigidity due to which the engine uh, runs more smoothly at higher speeds in a v-type uh, engine uh, besides overall length and height of the engines are uh, decreased uh, the weight volume ratio is also lower uh, actually compared to an inline engine so that's an advantage for v-type engines um, however uh, there are uneven intervals uh, between the power impulses uh, that means uh, this which take place every uh, 270 degree and 450 degree of the crankshaft uh, rotation uh, and also the cost of manufacturing uh, is high and uh, the balancing is more difficult in uh, weight type uh, engines uh, that's why uh, these engines are actually not employed in automobiles uh, so i believe you got a brief idea about the construction and the factors of a weight type engine uh, for more engineering related videos you can visit my blog www.techricsinfo.com or my youtube channel for video tutorials uh, Thanks for listening.